Hello, so this is Dana, so you might be wondering, hey, what have you been up to? So this is what I've been up to. So at my at my job at Test Out, we are working on a course for um, Ethical Hacker. And so I've been like playing around with tools and everything and um, I've always liked to do that. So here's something I've been looking at lately is a, it's a search engine. And it's called Shodan. And you might think to yourself, oh, we have a search engine, it's called Google. Well that's that's cool. But uh, what Google does is go out, and here's Google, and let me, um, so let's do a search for Cisco on Google, and you see we get the Cisco website, and we get all kinds of things about Cisco, nice, cool things, and whatever. So, Shodan, what Shodan does, it's a search engine, but it doesn't look for like websites, it looks for devices. So it looks for web servers. It doesn't care so much what is on the web server, it's just finding the web server. So when I say it doesn't care about the web server, yeah, it cares about what's on the web server as far as like maybe what's making it run. Um, but it doesn't care about like the content. It doesn't care what's posted. So um, I, I did a search for Cisco and it finds all these Cisco devices and then the IP addresses. Um, I could do something else like put in city and I put in Dixon that's kind of where I'm from so if you look um, CenturyLink that's popular in Dixon uh, Dixon so the word Dixon would be in the banner these things here are called banners so what this does it goes out and searches and finds the banner and displays the banner information and the banner is usually the information about like if it's a web server like information about the web server or whatever so that's just some interesting things. Uh, Comcast, CenturyLink, um, Dixon Schools. Uh, apparently, Dixon School has a sonic wall. So if I was a hacker, you know, I might think to myself, okay, so this is you know step one it has a sonic wall, and then step two might be figuring out like what version of the fire firewall, the software, um, you know, perhaps. The sonic wall has has a flaw in it, and they haven't updated it lately. And maybe they're not aware there's a flaw, and I can you know find it, go to their login, perhaps somehow get into it. But it's just one example. Um, I, I mentioned IIS, so IIS is the Windows Server service that runs on a web server that makes the web server work. So sometimes those get outdated and by putting that in you can get some information about uh, the web server. So IIS is a Windows is a Windows thing and so you get some information about that. So if it has IIS 7 it's probably um, in good shape. It's probably not dated. But what you could do is if I remember how to do this, if I put 3.0 perhaps and what it does is bring up old IIS web servers like version 3 and what that does is tell me that it's outdated so I think that's what it's doing um, well it still has IIS version so let me actually let me copy that so that that's the format I want. But instead of 7, I want it like 3. Let's put 4 in. So I'm looking for IIS version 4. And why am I looking for that? Because it's outdated. So I might not have the, the right search thing up here. Um, so some things you can search for are like the OS and then um, Windows XP and so, as you know, Windows XP is obsolete, but apparently not to these people. So, um, some power line company is using Windows XP. Um, I don't know what these companies are. So, all these are Windows XP, and it's 174,000. And let's see, what else we have? Um, we can do port, and like to say port. 21. I think that's Telnet. Um, let me. Oh, port 
4.3. I should know this. So if, if you know anything about Telnet, you know that um, um, Telnet is not very secure and nobody should ever be using Telnet for anything. Um, but apparently uh, 6 million people have port 23 open, which potentially could be used for Telnet. So if I had uh, a program like uh, putty or something and I could you know find equipment and then figure out what the default username is perhaps and then try to hack it and speaking of default um, excuse my typing could that possibly bring us up anything 68,000 so default password um, so what some of the stuff does actually tell you that the default username is Cisco and the default password is Cisco. And what else do we got? Uh, Cisco and Cisco. And we have some other devices. We have a default username as admin and password 1234. So let's see what else. Um, we could put um, net in here and then we could put an IP address in there so I don't know any IP addresses off the top of my head um, I guess I could use this one right here and what it does is just tells me a little bit more about it and nothing too exciting except it's in Saudi Arabia uh, the other thing I can do is host name and I could put like um let's do something like oh this is make it google.com we don't want to pick on anybody and so you have a hundred thousand things so um, potentially all these are Google sites or Google um, things from Google and there's how many over a hundred thousand so sounds about right so if there's a particular company you want to find more information out about you could um, put it up here and like get information like what devices are, are connected I'm not gonna put any um, companies in there that I know we'll pick on big people like Microsoft and Google we'll do Microsoft and we'll end this And so Microsoft, oh, only 4,000. Interesting. So they have their um, Azure servers, perhaps. Um, I don't know. All kinds of stuff. So something we've been playing with. So hope you found this fun like I did. So until next time, see you later.